Select stock tray that will cover all the end marks indicating the denture bearing areas. Also check the impression tray and make sure it covers the tremolar pad, external oblique ridge and mylohyoid ridge. Any deficient area should be corrected by utility wax. The wax should be used on the posterior lingual borders and retromolar pad to carry the alginate into the lingual sulcus. The alginate is mixed following the manufacturer instruction. then loaded into the stock tray. Stand in front of the patient and place the tray at the left corner of the mouth. The right corner of the mouth is reflected with a mouth mirror. Center the tray over the residual ridge so that the tray handle is in alignment with the median line of the face. At this time the lip is pulled out so the alginate flows into the labial sulcus. The seating pressure is stopped, the border molding is performed so that the impression is not overextended. The tray is held in place until the alginate has completely set. Remove the impression from the mouth, inspect the impression to determine if it's acceptable, disinfect the impression using current recommended surface disinfectant for 10 minutes in a sealed bag prior to proceeding to the lab. Alginate impressions tend to be overextended, so the denture outline should be drawn on the impression with an indelible stick. This outline will be transferred into the cast and will be helpful to fabricate the custom tray.